Jeff, how did you figure out that you were going to be assuming this role, and what it, what was that kind of reaction that you had from that re that conversation? I, well, I can tell you, man, it's a great it's a great opportunity, you know, for myself and you know the rest of our offensive staff. You know, we're really excited, uh, you know, about the the possibility, you know, getting our guys in the right position, you know, to go one and zero this week. Uh, you know, Coach Rule let me know, uh, uh, you know, pretty much after you know having a conversation with Coach Brady, and uh, you know, I embraced uh, you know my new role, and you know, I'm excited about it. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate, you know, circumstances. You know, it's a tough part of the business, but uh, myself and along with the rest of our offensive staff. Again, we're excited about working with our, you know, the men on our football team, and you know, trying to go one to know this week versus a, a, a really good, you know, Atlanta Falcons football team. Yeah, I would ask uh, Matt about the, the the VH tapes he used to highlight tapes he used to make for me. What do you, what do you recall about that? Oh my goodness! Hey, we go we go way back. So. Uh, you know, we're both from State College, Pennsylvania, and, uh, you know, we immediately became best friends, you know, once he moved to State College uh, from New York. So, uh, I mean, we spent a lot of time together. You know, in high school, I was the uh, running back, and, you know, he was the center, and uh, we just immediately developed a, a, a long-lasting relationship, and uh, he made all my films, you know, that I got a chance to send out to colleges, and uh, I'm forever grateful for that. Uh, if you would see these films and listen to the music that's that's on the film, a little bit of old school uh, 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 hip hop music, uh, it's great. Sometimes I I bring it out and my kids listen to it and they, they watch the film and they laugh and we have a good chuckle. Uh, but again, Coach Rule and I, we go way back. And uh, uh, like I said, I, I appreciate, really appreciate being on his staff, you know, at Baylor and then now uh, here with the Carolina Panthers. VHS or has it been transferred to a more modern format? Uh, I still have the VHS. Still have the VHS. So, that's, I, I have a, I still have an old uh, VHS uh, machine with a lot of old football films. When I used to, you know, coach in college, you know, used to have, you used to have to have a VHS to, you know, look at recruiting film and all that. So, I always kept one around. Uh, at some point, I got to get everything transferred over uh, to a little bit better format. At, at some point. Matt made it clear that he didn't put you in this position because of your friendship, but the trust he has in you from that friendship has to be key. So tell me about how that works as far as your relationship with him and what you want to accomplish. Uh, I think one thing is, you know, I was his coordinator at Baylor, you know, so I think he feels comfortable uh, with me that, you know, that we can be on the same page of, you know, how he wants the game to be called. Uh, we're not all of a sudden just going to put in a a brand new offense in, in two or three days. So uh, I think he just feel comfortable of my knowledge of our offensive system. Uh, Coach feel comfortable of how he knows you know I'm going to call the game and uh, you know how he wants our offense to look on uh, you know these next uh, uh, hopefully five or more 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 Sundays of the season. Right. Does it add any pressure because you guys have such a close relationship versus you know working for just someone else? Uh, not not really. I expect a lot of myself. Uh, very fortunate. Like I said, I can't I can't state enough. Like the guys on our offensive staff. Uh, this is not, you know, as I told our players, this is not like all of a sudden just Jeff Nixon's offense. This is the Carolina Panthers offense, and you know we have such a great offensive coaching staff. Uh, uh, who obviously you know did a great job for Joe, and now you know this week you know doing a great job for myself and uh, Coach Rule. So that takes a little bit of pressure off of me. Uh, I expect a lot of myself, and like I said, we're really pushing the guys this week. Uh, we think think we have a good game plan, and uh, you know we're expecting uh, to put our guys in great position to go out and uh, uh, hopefully, like I said, go one and zero this week against the Atlanta Falcons. Jeff, how do you how do you become interested in coaching? Love football. I mean, I'm from Western PA. I grew up in Pittsburgh. I mean, I always knew I wanted to be around the game, you know, for a long time. Uh, I think in college, you know, uh, when I was at West Virginia, I just remember at one point, be like, you know, once my playing days are over, I'm, I, I want to coach. You know, I didn't know what level at that point. Uh, I didn't know if it was going to be high school, if it was going to be college. Never dreamt about coaching in the NFL. Uh, but I knew, you know, pretty much early on, this is what I wanted to do, uh, you know, for the uh, rest of my life. And then moving to State College, playing for Coach Paterno, I really looked up to you know all my coaches in high school and college. Uh, those those were always people I looked up to, and 
you know, I wanted to strive to be a, a coach like some of my mentors. You worked in the NFL as a position coach to then go to Baylor and a play caller there. How did that kind of change your perspective on, you know, what you might do over the next five weeks or whenever? Uh, I remember it just being a very exciting time. You know, I, I worked my whole career up until that point, you know, when Coach Rule gave me the opportunity to be, you know, his coordinator at Baylor. So I just remember it being a really exciting time. Uh, you know, I knew I was ready. You know, I would coached. You know, with a lot of great offensive minds uh, over the years of my uh, my coaching career, coached different positions, running backs, tight ends, receivers, special teams, and you know, just felt I was ready to be a, a coordinator. And like I said, forever grateful. Coach gave me, Coach Rule gave me the opportunity to be a coordinator at Baylor, and uh, you know, be able to uh, run my own offensive system. And uh, you know, we had a lot of success there, and hopefully, that'll lead over to. Uh, you know, having success, you know, the rest of this season as coordinating the offense here with the Panthers. What's the biggest difference between like a position coach mindset and a coordinator mindset? Uh, I think I think the biggest uh, thing with being a coordinator is getting everybody on the same page. Uh, that staff and uh, uh, players on the team, you know, just getting everybody moving in the right direction. Uh, it's 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 helpful when you got great people around you. Like I said, I thought we had a great staff at Baylor. Uh, I mean, we all worked well together, and you know, we were all on the same page. And I think that's the same thing with our staff here. I mean, we're like I said, we work well together. Uh, coach, uh, every coach on our offensive staff, uh, you know, Frisman Jackson, uh, Brian Angelico, Pat Meyer, uh, you know, all of our offensive coaches, you know, they know what Coach Rule expects and how he wants our guys to play on Sunday. And you know, we're trying to put them in the we're trying to put them in the best position to go out and have success. How would this offense look different than it was the first 12 games? I don't know if it'll look much different. I mean, we have a lot of the offense in our system. Uh, I think, you know, at, at, at this point, you know, like I said, we're just kind of building on, you know, what we've done well this season and, you know, trying to correct the things, you know, we haven't done so well. Uh, I think it's impossible to put in a whole new offensive system in, in two to three days. So uh, we had a lot of offense in, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, the last uh, year and a half under Coach Brady. Uh, you know, for me, football is football. I mean, you see a lot of the same concepts every week in the NFL. And like I said, we're just trying to improve on some of the things we didn't do well uh, while adding maybe some of the things that, you know, we practiced in the past but got away from. I'm assuming that everybody has a different style, of a, di a different philosophy. How would you describe your offensive philosophy? What do you uh, my offensive philosophy is, is 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 take what the defense gives you. Uh, it's 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 to attack the defense in both the run and and the pass game. You know we want to put our guys in a position where we can create explosive plays. You know where we can create explosive plays in both the run and the pass game, uh, and not do too much. You know so the guy our guys can go out and they can play fast. Uh, I think that's 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 a critical element of it. You know, I think sometimes as a Offensive coordinator, you know, you can do too much, and then the guys are thinking too much, and they can't go out and play fast. Uh, that's why I said, like, we're trying to just enhance some of the things that we have been doing, you know, throughout the, you know, the last year and a half, and you know, just trying to bring those to light, and you know, have a great game plan. The guys are in position to uh, to know their assignments, know what to do, uh, you know, so we can go out there and play fast and physical, and uh, uh, and go out and attack our opponents. One of the things Matt mentioned a couple times is halftime adjustments, kind of third quarter production. What do you think it was? What do you think has been holding you guys back in that regard this year and maybe last year? And what do you think you can kind of bring to the table with a fresh set of eyes to that? Uh, yeah, well, that's, a, that's, a, that's going to be a challenge for us. Yeah, I know coaches mentioned that. And, uh, you know, we're, we're excited about that, that, that challenge. Uh, I think we have to do a great job in the first half of, you know, coaches communicating uh, uh, right before the half of, you know, what we want to do, you know, with our, our, our second half plan. Like, where do we want to attack? NFL halftime is not very long, so you don't have a lot of time to make adjustments. So you really kind of got to talk about it, you know, at the end of the half. Uh, you know, so I think that's something, you know, we're going to emphasize, of, you know, kind of having a plan where, you know, at when the beginning of the third quarter, what we want to do, and uh, like I said, I think our guys hopefully will be out, be able to go out and execute it. Yeah. What do you hope distinguishes, distinguishes you as a play caller and offensive coordinator in this league? Uh, the thing that distinguishes me, uh, well, this will be my first time <laughs> calling plays at the NFL. Uh, uh, but like I said, I, I'm, I, I think 
I'm a fundamental guy. Like I said, I want to, you know, I don't want to do uh, too many new things. You know, I try to keep it where, again, the players can go out, they can play fast, they can play tough, they know their assignments, and they can go out and play uh, uh, solid football, you know, while attacking the defense, trying to create, you know, explosive plays in both both the run and the, and, and the pass game. Uh, I think, you know, again, we're not trying to do, you know, trying to reinvent the wheel or anything like that, but we have enough offense in uh, under our current system where, again, we're going to be able to uh, maybe add a new wrinkle or two, you know, some plays that we know we haven't run, you know, in, in uh, you know, for a while and, and then be able to clean up some of the things we've had trouble with. Are you approaching this? Go ahead. Are you approaching this as if you're auditioning for the offensive coordinator job in the future? Uh, I'm not really looking at the future, you know, to be, be honest with you. You know, I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm doing the same thing we ask our players to do, try to get 1% better every single day. I know this week, you know, I'm coordinating the offense, so all my focus has just been on every single day uh, trying to do whatever I can to help the men in our organization go one to know this week. I really haven't thought, you know, too much about uh, uh, the future. You know, so I'm just trying to be laser focused on helping our players get better. Laser focused on, uh, you know, the Atlanta Falcons. You've been on the sidelines this season so far, right? Yes. You're going to be upstairs Sunday. Uh, still trying to decide that. Uh, uh, leaning towards it, but we're, we're still trying to decide that as, as a staff. Different in terms of your vision of the game and, and the way it changes your perspective and maybe thoughts on calling plays. I've done both. I've done both. I've you know, in the past, I've called plays on the field. You know, sometimes in the box. So uh, that's why I'm saying we're still you know trying to work through that. Uh, the big thing is you got to you know if you're on the field, you got to be able to communicate with someone up in the box at times to you know to have a wider view uh, focus of what's going on on the field. Uh, I think we have guys that can do that on our staff who I feel uh, confident in where they can tell me like kind of what's going on uh, on the field in between possessions, uh, during possession, during timeouts, where it wouldn't be an issue if I had to you know, call the game on the field. Calling the game up, like I said, you can see a little bit more. Uh, you can kind of get away you know, from some of the, the madness of the sideline. You, know, you, you can imagine in an NFL game, there's a lot going on on the sideline. Uh, you know, so again, we're working through that, and we'll, we'll probably end up making a decision on that obviously pretty pretty quickly. At the, at the same time, you know, um, I know you're not looking too much in, into the future, but there aren't many black play callers in the NFL, and, and now you get this opportunity. What do you what do you think about that? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm proud to be in the position I'm in. Like I said, I'm extremely happy. Uh, Coach Rule gave me this opportunity, and uh, I'm going to try to make the most of it. I know, like in the past, there really hasn't been a lot of uh, people that look like me in, you know, in this position. Uh, you know, so I don't take that uh, lightly. And like I said, I'm going to try to do my best and represent uh, uh, others like me and you know, do the best job I can and help our guys win. You have to have someone take over running backs with you doing the play calling this week. Uh, no, no, I've still been, I've been, I've been hard at it, coaching the, coaching the running backs as well. Uh, Lonzo Escalante, my assistant, you know, who's been with me all year, does a great job of uh, assisting me, and you know, he's he's obviously taking a little bit bigger role uh, in helping me. Uh, but I have all the confidence in him uh, when I need something done, where I, I got to uh, maybe work with a different position. Uh, at times, you know, during the week, you know, he does a great job of uh, assisting me with the with the running backs. See your highlight films from back in the day. What would we see? I don't know. It would look kind of slow. I know that. You, <laughs> you'd be like, man, this guy was a Division One scholarship player. Back then, those VHS tapes, they looked like you were running in running in mud. Uh, uh, but you'd see a tough, physical, uh, hard-nosed player. Uh, I know for sure we ran all over uh, Williamsport. Uh, Williamsport, Pennsylvania, a couple times, you know, you know, during my career. But uh, uh, like I said, I, mean, I was, you know, a good player. I'm not going to say great, uh, but you know, I did make some plays. And uh, like I said, you'd see a tough, hard, physical player. Did you compete in any of those coaching competitions that Rule had during training camp or OTAs? Nah, not really. Not really. I, I didn't get a chance to. I didn't get a chance to do that. So. Uh, you know, we play a little staff basketball. We try to. We try to every once in a while. I'll, I'll join that, and we have a lot of fun doing that as a staff. Pete Rock and see us move on the field. Yeah, that was it. That was it. <laughs>
Yes, you no. just fast forward and look fast. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. I'm sorry. He was a, he was a good player. He's he's more athletic than you think. You look at him, and be like, well, this guy, he's pretty. He was especially in basketball. Now he was he's from New York, so uh, he was actually a pretty good basketball player. A good athlete, you know, at, at Penn State. You know, he played a couple different positions and uh, uh, better athlete than you think. Kind of a particular challenge this week. In addition to all you're you're having to do, you've got some injuries and some COVID stuff up front. Uh, it is what it is. It's next man up. You know, the NFL. It is. You know, uh, you know, we're coaching the guys who are, who are going to play this week. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate for you know some of the guys who are out. You know, we got some really uh, quality players. You know, who unfortunately aren't going to be able to uh, uh, you know play this week. Uh, you know, the obvious that's out there, but uh, we got good players on this team. Uh, it's next man up mentality. And again, I think we're. Uh, Trying to put our guys in the best position to win this 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 football game here with the guys we have, and like I said, we have confidence that again we're putting them in the right position. John, but how about your relationship with, with Cam and um, just working with him in general? What's that been like? Uh, excited to work with Cam. You know, he's someone I've looked up to. You know, for a long time. Uh, you know, coaching in the NFL. You know, went up against him uh, uh, many a times. Uh, probably so. The first time I met him, we were at the combine, and. Uh, he was doing an interview or something, and he walked into me, literally knocked me over. Like we didn't see each other, and I was like, "Man, look how I man this guy is like humongous." That was the first. That was like my first experience meeting him. Whenever he was drafted, what was it eleven, twelve? Uh, that was my first experience uh, meeting Cam. But uh, it's been great. I mean, it's been great. I think uh, you know, you look at the guys we have in that position. I mean, that's a great room. Uh, quality men in that room. Uh, guys who are talented, and uh, like I said, I've enjoyed my time. You know, getting a chance to spend a little extra time with Cam now, uh, coordinating the offense. Did you fall on the ground? I did fall on the ground. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> he did not. He probably doesn't. He doesn't. I didn't tell him that yet, but he doesn't even even remember that. But I mean, he literally like we we coming around the corner, like knocked me over, and I just couldn't remember. Like man, this guy's six six. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you.